Hi there, I just wanted to give you an update as to my solar panels here. I've been tweaking them with their angles and stuff during the day to see how that changes the uh, solar absorption. Right now it's about 11.15 in the morning here and I'm getting about 147 watts. Well, this is just a little blurb about how I'm doing with my solar panels here. I got rid of that monstrosity of a tank solar panel briefcase set. Whew, so glad I did that. I actually have room back in the RV now. But I've been messing with these on top here, tilting them, checking the tilt. And right now I just checked. It's uh, 11.10 in the morning and I'm getting 147 watts from the solar panels. And there's 200 watt, which is, I guess, actually 90 watt each. It's sort of like a two by four, isn't a two by four? I don't know who figures this crap out. They never must have got out of high school. But anyway, it seems to be enough. Uh, I might have to run the generator for five, 10 minutes, and then it'll kick in and do just fine. Uh, as far as the inverter. The batteries keep saying they're full, it's just uh, sometimes it needs a little help for some reason. But the panels are doing great and uh, I'm glad I got rid of that monstrosity. I see lots of people around here with you know one to four sets of those briefcases all over the place. But uh, still I'm glad I had the two polarizing caps or plugs put in here so I can always add extras if I want. But like I said, this trip is a learning trip down here, my first snowbird trip. So I've made some mistakes, corrected them, and I'm learning from them. So hopefully the next time I come down here, I think I'll leave a little later, and not so early in September. And uh, just change my route every time I come down here to see more and more territory. And I'll show that all to you guys in my videos of the girls and I in our travels. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, we're still a young channel. We're still learning how we want to create things. But uh, I think we're that different enough from all the others you might see out there on YouTube that I think we're interesting. You know, this is real life. It's not a polished script. It's not a polished production. Uh, I learned this stuff on the fly by fire. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is beautiful down here. I miss the forest and the trees up north, but I don't miss the rain and the crappy winter weather. So I might be making a habit of this. Just waiting to see what spring comes, what that's like. I'll be planning to head into New Mexico and uh, see what New Mexico has to offer. Go into Utah, see what I can there. Now, I don't want to see everything that everyone says, oh, see this, see this, and see that, because I want to have something to come back to every time I visit the States. So, that's my thinking, you know. I'm not trying to crowd everything into, like, a two-week vacation. That's just crazy. So, I just take my time, see what I want on this trip, on this route, and then the next time I come through the territory on a different route, I'll see new things to show you. So it's like that way. My videos are always fresh. Okay, well, you know, even with that wind, the sun is so warm on your face. I think it's probably high 60s, which <laughs> from being up north, 60s warm, I tell you. So anyway, I... Uh, play around here, take the dogs for a walk. Sarah loves all these 
shrubs out here where the little critters hide underneath them, make burrows. Kate, she's, she could care less. She wants to meet people. But I'm noticing that Kate does get tired more often because of uh, suffering from her canine vestibular uh, stroke she had this early past winter. But she still was frolicking and playful. People are always amazed at the two girls that they're 13 because they still have lots of spunk in them. And uh, they ask them, what do you feed them? I say, I've fed all my dogs I've raised and trained since the 70s on science diet. I don't go through these stupid fads. The science diet has kept them healthy, young, energized, never had any skin problems, never had anything. So there was no reason to change. You know, it depends on how gullible you are with all these new fads. You find something that works for you, keeps your dog healthy, why change? You know, don't get on that stupid cycle and just one fad after another. You're wasting your time, wasting your money, and you're putting your dog through some physical digestive problems too. So, alrighty, I'll uh, sew this little segment up. I'm trying to make little, little, uh, I can't think of what they call them, blogs, and stick in between the other uh, videos so I can uh, keep you guys up to date as to what the heck's going on with this, how we're doing down here, and, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys don't get bored. I don't get any feedback from people getting bored with my videos, so I figure, well, until people speak up and tell me, you know, hey, you're boring the hell out of me, then uh, there's no reason to change. And I wouldn't change under minimum pressure or comments anyway. You know, if anyone's been hard on me, it's been myself. No one out there can be harder on me than myself. So, I just shrug off any comments negative that people have because, well, they're talking from the peanut gallery. They have no idea of my upbringing, my background, my life. So, I take it with a grain of salt. People today are too readily, oh, readily, easily upset over the stupidest things that didn't phase us back in the 50s or 60s or 70s. And then all of a sudden everybody had onion skin and boy, you say one thing that we'd laugh off years ago and it just spins them right out of their brains. I don't know. Uh, that's what you're going to get on this channel. Reality checks. And entertainment, you know. But that's the world we live in now today, folks. Like it or lump it. People my age remember how things used to be when they were sane and safe. We didn't cowbow to the minimum, to the lowest denominator, which weakened everyone above that. So, okay, I guess I went off on a rant, sorry. Anyway, that's it. Talk later.